in this video we will evaluate 0 to pi by 2 root of tan theta d theta by using beta gamma functions. In beta gamma functions we have the result 0 to pi by 2 sin raised to pi theta cos raised to q theta d theta is 1 by 2 beta of p plus 1 divided by 2 comma q plus 1 divided by 2. So the given integral let me take it as i it is 0 to pi by 2 root of tan theta d theta. So let me write tan theta in terms of sin and cos it is 0 to pi by 2 we can write this as sin theta divided by cos theta the root can be written as 1 by 2. So 1 by 2 d theta. So this will become 0 to pi by 2 sin raise to 1 by 2 theta and note that it will be cos of minus 1 by 2 d theta. Comparing with the standard result of sin raise to p theta into cos raise to q theta, we have p is equal to 1 by 2 and q is equal to minus 1 by 2. So using the relation it is the given integral can be written as 1 by 2 beta of 1 by 2 plus 1 divided by 2 here minus 1 by 2 plus 1 divided by 2. On simplifying this it is 1 by 2 plus 1 is 3 by 2 divided by 4 or 2 will be 3 by 4 and here it will be 1 by 4. So we have the given integral i is equal to 1 by 2 beta of 3 by 4 comma 1 by 4. In beta gamma functions we have one result as if it is beta of n comma 1 minus n. So that if it is the sum of the two numbers, if it is equal to 1, we can directly use pi by sin of n pi. So here if I consider n as 1 by 4 or 3 by 4, because the sum of these two numbers is equal to 1, if I take n as 1 by 4, then I can write this as 1 by 2 pi by sin of n I am considering as 4, 1 by 4 it is sin by 4. So therefore sin by 4 sin of 45 degree is 1 by root 2, it is 1 by root 2. 1 by 2 into 1 by root 2 will be root 2, it is 1 by root 2 into 5. So therefore the value of the given integral i it is 0 to pi by 2 root of tan theta d theta is equal to pi by root 2. Similarly, even they can give you for evaluation of 0 to pi by 2 root of cot theta also. Where the p and q values are interchanged and we will get the answer as equal to the same as which we have solved it now. Similarly, let me take one more example. So here we have to show that the 0 to pi by 2 root of sin theta d theta into 0 to pi by 2 1 by root of sin theta d theta is equal to pi. So let me take this as i1 and i2. So let me take i1. i is equal to 0 to pi by 2 root of sin theta d theta into root of pi by 2 1 by root of sin theta d theta. So the root of sin theta d theta I will consider it as i1. i1 is equal to 0 to pi by 2 the root I will write it as 1 by 2 
sin theta d theta so this can be written as 0 to pi by 2 sin raised to 1 by 2 theta and there is no function of cos let me take that as cos raised to 0 theta d theta again considering with the standard result sin raised to p cos raised to q so p in this case it will be equal to 1 by 2 and q is equal to 0. So the I1 can be written as 0 to pi by this can be written as 1 by 2 beta of p plus 1 divided by 2 q plus 1 divided by 2. So that will be 1 by 2 beta of 3 by 4 gamma 1 by 2. So it is 3 by 4 1 by 2. Similarly, the I2, I2 is 0 to pi by 2, 1 by root of sin theta d theta. So this we can write it as 0 to pi by 2 sin raised to minus 1 by 2 theta and cos raised to 0 theta d theta. In comparison with the standard, P will be equal to minus 1 by 2 and Q will be equal to 0. So the I2 can be written as I2 is equal to, it is 1 by 2 beta of minus 1 by 2 plus 1 divided by 2 and here it is 0 plus 1 divided by so that will be 1 by 2 beta of 1 by 2 plus 1. That will be 2 minus 1, 1. 1 by 2 divided by 2 will be 1 by 4, 1 by 2. So the i is product of i1 and i2. It is i1 into i2. So i1 we have it as 1 by 2. 1 by 2 beta of. 3 by 4, comma 1 by 2 and I2 is 1 by 2 beta of 1 by 4, comma 1 by 2. So the relation between beta gamma functions is given by beta of Mn is equal to gamma M, gamma N divided by gamma of M plus N. So this you can we can write it as here 1 by 2, 1 by 2 is 1 by 4. So this we can write gamma of 3 by 4 into gamma of 1 by 2. This divided by gamma of 3 by 4 plus 1 by 2. Similarly here it is gamma of 1 by 4, gamma of 1 by 2 and this is gamma of 1 by 4 plus 1 by 2. The gamma of 1 by 2 is given by root of pi. So it is root pi. So gamma 1 by 2 is root pi. And gamma of 1 by 2, here also it is root pi. The product of these two is equal to pi. So it is pi. And here this gamma of 3 by 4 gamma of 1 by 4 divided by 3 by 4 plus 1 by 2 is gamma of 5 by 4. So it is gamma of 5 by 4. Here 1 by 2 plus 1 by 4 is gamma of 3 by 4. So gamma 3 by 4 and gamma 3 by 4 get cancelled here. The gamma of 5 by 4 we can write it as there is a result in the gamma function gamma of n plus 1 is equal to n gamma n. So the pi by 4 can be written as 1 by 4 plus 1. So it is 1 by 4 pi gamma of 1 by 4 divided by the pi by 4 we rewrite this as 1 plus 1 by 4. So which will be 1 by 4 gamma 1 by 4 using this result this we can write it as 
वन बाय फोर गामा ऑफ वन बाय फोर सो गामा वन बाय फोर गामा वन बाय फोर गेट कैंसल इवन वन बाय फोर एंड वन बाय फोर गेट कैंसल सो वी आर लेफ्ट विद आई सो देर फोर द इंटीग्रल द गिवन इंटीग्रल वैल्यू आई इज इक्वल टू फाइव थैंक यू फॉर वॉचिंग